I want to share how to modify a, a cluster in real dash. So for example, here we have an Audi uh, dash that I modified. I added a, um, I'm gonna use my pointer over here, uh, oil uh, pressure and a small uh, graph. On the right, a fuel pressure. Both of these were uh, additional five volt pull-up sensors using a, a dash box that connects over Bluetooth. And um, I modified some of these gauges to change colors. So these will go to green to red. And I'll show you how to do this. It's, it's very easy, but it took me a while to figure it out. So you click on edit. You would click on the gauge that you want to modify. And you would go into uh, look and feel uh, over here. And you're going to click on uh, colors. You're gonna click on uh, image blend, and the trick is is the editing level. So I first didn't know um, how these colors change, but here you are gonna change. Let's say for the critical, we want to change uh, the color to be let's say um, this bluish. So now, if you see when it goes to the end. It will turn that color. Uh, if you want this to change uh, warning color, same thing. Uh, editing level, you would click on warning colors, and let's say you can do. Uh, let's check this gray one. So as you see here, it, it will change colors. <clears throat> the ones that make sense to me uh, is pretty much for critical to use red and for warning to use yellow-ish um, and for normal use green now just see this fills up it, it goes in there um, when you click on ok save it this will now nicely change colors um, so if, um, if the battery is under charge it'll be red when it's charged range it's green and if it's overcharged it's red uh, to change the warning levels um, again you will click on edit you click on the ba battery but this time you'll click on the input volumes and in here is where um, the ranges are set so we have the range up to 17 warning level 15 5 and critical 16 and for below we have 9 12 and these values are automatically filled in when you click on uh, the battery and, and you find the battery here and, and pick it. Uh, so that's great that these are automatically set, which is helpful. I did the same thing for intake air temperature. And the, the beauty is that these numbers, again, are pre-filled. Um, when you pick uh, those numbers um, and uh, let's see what else um to add a gauge you would click on add a gauge and there are multiple different ones in here you can do the map um, either graph or just text gauge i use cls uh, a small small gauge um, to show a graph um, and when you're done it, it will really make a nice um, effect in there um, uh, i do this on a computer then I do the same thing on the tablet that will go to to the car and have a keyboard um, hooked up because it's hard to pick on something with a finger. But this is again very friendly because you have the X, Y and um, the size of the uh, font. You can easily just type it in. Um, so first what I do is um, uh, set this up on a computer. Um, see if I like it and um, how it looks and then I do the same thing on the tablet because it's much easier to use the mouse just uh, point and, and click and I use here the simulated values so under settings you can click on source and we have simulation so that's why they're we're just going in a circle over here but it's great because you can test test everything in here 
and uh, that's how you can modify these things you can really make this customizable to your uh, to your needs or to your likings and I really like this app